Hey, it's Mr. Lineski with uh, Unit 3, Section 2, How to Prove That Lines Are Parallel. Before we get started, I actually want to take us back to Section 3.1 and make a point that I actually forgot to prove or talk about. Uh, many students were asking me during Unit 2, why are we doing all this converse, inverse, contrapositive stuff? How does this relate to math? What's the point of all this? Well, last class I went through all of these theorems and these postulates for the different angle relationships. And what I forgot to point out to you was that notice that they were all in if-then form. So if P, then Q. And one thing is that all of these P statements started off the same. If two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, that was the P statement in all of these theorems, that if the lines are parallel, then we can say corresponding angles are congruent. If the lines are parallel, alternate interiors are congruent. If the lines are parallel, consecutive interiors are supplementary. And so in section two, what we're going to look at are the converses of those things. So we're, it's the same theorems, but the converses. So if you remember, conditional statement is PQ, that's what we looked at in section one, the converses are when we switch. Remember the song? Converse, inverse, contrapositive, switch, negate, switch, and negate. So the converse is when we switch. We switch. And so now, all those P statements on uh, section one, that was parallel lines cut by transversal. It started off with us saying, hey, these lines are parallel. Well, now we want to prove that the lines are parallel. And so if we look at the converses of all of those theorems, that will help us prove the lines are parallel. And so here it says if two lines are cut by a transversal so that the corresponding angles are congruent, then I can say that the lines are parallel. So that's the shorthand for parallel. You just kind of draw two parallel lines. It's pretty nice. The alternate interior angle converse states that if two lines are cut by a transversal so that the alternate interior angles are congruent, then the lines are parallel. Alternate exterior angle, if you remember, exterior angles cut by a transversal, the exterior angles congruent, we can say the lines are par parallel. And then the consecutive interior ones, that was the one when the angles weren't congruent, that was the one when the angles were supplementary. So if the consecutive interior angles are supplementary, then we can say that those lines are parallel. So all of these are converses. And so now how do I know when to use what situation? So if we are trying to prove that lines are parallel, that is when we're going to use the converses. Whereas if we're just trying to prove that these angles are congruent, or in some cases prove that the angles are supplementary, that's when we're just going to use the regular theorems that we did in section 3.1. So anytime you're starting either of these problems, you always want to think about what is the relationship of the angles that you see. All those different scenarios we talked about in section 1. So remember though, there's basically only two scenarios that we see when it comes down to solving the problem. And that's what makes this nice and easy, is that we're either going to set these things equal to each other, or we're going to add them and set equal to 180. And so if you forgot what those relationships were, you may want to go back to the 3-1 notes and just double check that little list that we had. And so here it says make, or I'm sorry, find x to make m parallel to n. So notice those arrows aren't listed here, those little parallel arrows to tell us, hey, these things are parallel. But we're saying, what would x have to be in order to make these lines parallel? And then justify your reasoning is going to be you just telling me well, since I'm trying to prove these lines parallel, I'm going to use the blank converse. So we still want to look at what's the relationship. So if I look at these two angles here, the relationship that I'm using is that these are alternate interior angles. Now, since I'm proving lines parallel, I'm going to call this the alternate interior angle converse. And then the relationship with alternate interior angles was that I set those equal to each other. And so now we just solve for x. And we get 2x equals 86. Divide by 2. And we get x is 43. 
Problem number two, what's the relationship of the angles? The relationship is that these are same side interiors. But because I'm proving lines parallel, it's the same side interior angle converse. So that is the justify my reasoning part. So students often ask, do we have to write that? Yeah, you gotta write that. That's your justification. That's why we can do what we're doing. And so here, what do I do with same side interiors? That's when we add them and set it equal to 180. So for this one, we're gonna do 5x plus three plus 37 equals 180. So that's 5x plus 40 equals 180. Subtract 40 from both sides and then divide by five, giving us an answer of 28. And then the last one here, what is the relationship? The relationship is that those are corresponding angles. And so I'm gonna use the corresponding angle converse. Corresponding angles are when we set them equal to each other. Hey, this one's easy, divide by two, done. So what I want to do with the next two problems on the back, I'm going to do these problems with you, but I want to give you a little hint on how to maybe solve these problems if you're not great with the relationships. And the hint that I'm going to tell you is the ABBA-ABBA rule. So the ABBA-ABBA rule is if we're trying to prove lines are parallel or if we know lines are parallel, we can do something called ABBA-ABBA. And so what we do is we, we kind of break this off into our boxes of four angles and we label it ABBA ABBA. So A, B, B, A, A, B, B, A. We have to go in that order. A, B, whoops, A, B, B, A, A, B, B, A. The idea is if I were to reach in this bag and pull out two angles, three things can happen. I can pull out an A and an A, I can pull out a B and a B, or I can pull out an A and a B, or a B and an A, doesn't really matter. Um, so the idea is, well, what do I do if I get those letters? Well, if you reach in here and you pull out two A's, set them equal to each other. If you reach in and pull out two B's, set them equal to each other. If you reach in and pull out an A and a B, that is when you're gonna add them together and set it equal to 180. So I can use ABBA ABBA. Maybe I don't know the angle relationship th that well yet, but I can at least use ABBA ABBA to help me solve for x. Remember, there's only two scenarios, set equal or add and set equal to 180. So here I have A and A, hmm, A and A, I set those equal to each other. So we'll say 2x plus 31 equals 97. And now I can just solve for x. So now, obviously, you will eventually have to learn the angle relationships because the directions tell us to state which theorem or postulate we used. So the relationship between this angle here and this angle here is that those are alternate exterior angles. And because we're proving those lines parallel, we need to make sure we use the converse. So alternate exterior angle converse. So if I take a look at the uh, next problem, I'll use ABBA ABBA to help me out. A, B, B, A, A, B, B, A. And so notice where my angles are here and here. That's an A and a B. What do I do with A and B? I add and set equal to 180. So what you need to keep in mind about ABBA ABBA is that it only works when it's one line crossing two lines. If you get some weird figures, um, there's some strange figures that come up in geometry, that ABBA ABBA won't always be the best thing to use. But if you have a nice standard figure like this, ABBA ABBA can help you out in a pinch. And so we divide by four. Now again, I need to justify, well, why did I do this? What's the relationship here? So the relationship here is that these were same side interior angles. We were proving the lines parallel. So that is our converse. All right, that is it for section two of unit three. I know it and now you know it.